So uh, let's start with story number seven reported by the New York Post. So there's a man in Wisconsin. He decided he was going to break into a, a K jeweler store and he was going to rob the place. This was this guy's plan. SP3, what happened next? Uh, well, this was a K jeweler store, so he probably got punched in the face and then he got arrested and a naked woman ran by because this is going to be outrageous. So I'm ready for it. Wow, that would be that'd be appealing, <laughs> sort of. So what happened was he pulled the brick out of his pocket to try smashing a case, but the thing wouldn't break. So we just kept trying. We got the video, Joel, put that up. So here he is right here going in. This is from the New York Post. He pulls the brick out of his pocket, throws it at the display case. Doesn't work. Oh, let's pick it up and do it again. Doesn't work. Let's pick it up and do it again. Doesn't work. He ended up throwing that brick at the display case nine times before an employee chased him out of there. See, at one point, his sunglasses fell off. And then he thought, I'm going to put the sunglasses on and hide my identity. So he decided to do that. Employee chases him out right there. He got nothing. He took off in a Chevy Malibu that he had parked right out front, and he took off. And at last word, police were still on the hunt for him. So whenever I have these stories, I want to ask people a related question somehow, you know? And so here's my question for you. Have you ever tried your hardest to break something and it just wasn't happening? Maybe it was a pinata. Maybe it was a big chunk of ice. Maybe it was a coconut. Have you ever gotten frustrated? You're trying to break something and it just won't happen. Yes, a uh, watermelon at a cookout for my family. Uh, like, I don't know why they asked me. I, I don't know. Oh, it was because I used to sell knives for a living. So they thought that maybe the knives that I sold, I could use that to open a coconut. And these knives, these ha I had scissors that can cut a penny. I had a knife that could cut a rope. But for some reason, it couldn't cut the watermelon. So hmm. I looked like a, a fool being up there for maybe about 20, 30 minutes trying to cut <laughs> this watermelon. And it just wouldn't break. Wow. You couldn't get a knife into the watermelon. Nope. Nope. I don't know what my sister did, but she got the unbreakable watermelon and it took maybe like three of us to kind of work together to finally break it open. So what kind of knives were you selling for a living that you couldn't get this knife that you're spending money on into a watermelon? It was Cutco Knives. Uh, it has a lifetime warranty. <laughs> and I think just mine, because I was selling so much and on the go, I think mines were a little dull, needed a little bit of sharpening. So I think at that point, that's why it didn't work out for me. But I was really good at that. So that I think that's why I was doing so many appointments and the knives were not as sharp as they once were. Very good answer. Very good answer. I thought you were going to say, yeah, there were a lot of people just asking for that warranty. Like just a shit ton of people <laughs> returning the knife because they couldn't cut watermelon with it, you know? So your answer was a lot better. I was such a damn good sales guy that my knives were all dull by the time I tried cutting that watermelon. Good for you, man. Good for you. Can't, can't bury but, can't bury the product. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on to story number five reported by insider.com. So there's a museum in Germany and they put up uh, an art installation as part of an exhibit, an art exhibit. And the animal rights group PETA they filed a complaint against the city of Wolfsburg, Germany, about that art exhibit or that art installation. And so the city got the museum to take it down. My question for you is, why did PETA have a problem with that art installation? Was the art in installation uh, made up of animal skin and, and, and sheep's blood? You know what? That might have made more sense. PETA didn't like that the thing killed flies. Joel, do you have a picture of it? So this one here, that's the second shot. Do you have the first shot? Uh, apparently it didn't upload. Okay, well, uh, we'll deal Give with this one because th there's a big explanation here. So this art installation is a glass display subdivided into two parts. One side has flies hatching in it on the right side. The flies then travel through a hole in the middle to the other side. They were drawn in by a bright light and the bright light would zap them. And so the flies would die. PETA had a problem with that because they didn't like that the flies were dying. But here's the fucked up part, and you can see it in that picture. The original art installation that they did before they installed that zap light and all of that, the original art installation, they used a cow's head to draw the flies. And in that picture there, put it up again, Joel. 
see on the ground, you can see a cow's head there. So originally, oh my god, yeah. So originally, <laughs> they would use a cow's head to get the flies to go through to draw them in. They ended up removing the cow's head. They put in a bright light instead, and apparently, that's when PETA had a problem with it. Is when they had already gotten rid of the cow said, and that's apparently what happened. They don't. Peter's like, don't kill flies. <laughs> SP three, don't do it. Don't do it. Funny enough, I've had an experience with Peta because uh, I, I, what I will tell you is that I've had a lot of different jobs, and I used to do fundraising for Greenpeace. And yeah, the stuff that Peta, because I've had conversations with them being a fundraiser for Greenpeace, the stuff that they get upset about is very weird. But yeah, I would think that the cow's head would be right. the issue, not the not the flies. But there are like only like maybe seventy thousand uh, bees and flies left in the world so PETA is trying to save the flies save the flies I, I knew that stat because I did like a Greenpeace for a while and our big campaign was saving the bees and I was just like I hate bees I don't want to be around them but apparently we we have a devoid of honey in the world so so I'm with you on the bees I'm with you on the bees I don't think there's a shortage of flies <laughs> I think I think there's as many flies as there's ever been. I mean, hell, all I, all I gotta do is open my back door for half an hour, and then my whole house will be an art installation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so the bees might be one thing, but I don't think there's a big issue with the flies. But here's my question for you, and you kind of already alluded to this. My question is, how do you feel about insects? Like, do you have any phobias? Are you afraid to touch them? Uh, are you, do you not mind being in there using your hands? If there's a, let's say there's a mosquito pestering you, will you slap it with your bare, bare hand or do you have to grab something in order to hit it? No, I, I'm the type. I will slap it with my bare hands. In, insects, flies, anything that can make a noise in my ear as well, that just bugs me. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. Uh, my missus all the time has to tell me, just just hit it out of the window. You don't have to try to kill it, but I always do. I, uh, I am sorry for anyone who's offended by that. PETA, don't come <laughs> after me. Uh, I'm not going to share my social media here, but no, uh, I just it just bugs the hell out of me and it always seems to be when i'm doing some type of content that some type of insect is around my ear and it just bugs the hell out of me you're bugged by the bugs you know something my mom like is my mom is an old school european and to this day she's 84 years old to this day let's say if she sees i don't know uh, an ant walking across the floor or anything a cricket whatever she'll pick it up in her fingers and pinch it to kill it that's what she'll do that's called old school that's that what is that is. School. Yeah. So come on, Peter, bring it, bring it. <laughs> we ain't scared of Peter here. This is <laughs> this is, is Peter. Just bring it podcast. Peter, just bring it on the flies. <laughs> That's right. Bring it on the flies. Roses are red. Violets are blue. I click the subscribe button. You really should too. If you like videos about real news stories that are funny, stupid, or weird, subscribe now.